and welcome back to my YouTube channel, History of Us. I'm so excited to have you back here with me today. So, today we are going to be talking about our first person whose story does not take place in the United States. When I originally started this YouTube channel, I was really excited about the potential of expanding to other countries and of telling the stories of people that we definitely wouldn't hear about in the U.S. school system. Which does make sense, but I think there is always a time to learn about other cultures and other countries. So today we are learning about Faith Bandler, who was born September 23rd, 1918 in Tumbulgum, New South Wales, Australia, to Peter Messing and Ida Vina. She was the second youngest of eight children and unfortunately lost her father in 1924 when she was very young. She moved to Sydney, Australia in the early 1950s, and in World War II, she worked in the Women's Land Army, picking different kinds of fruits and vegetables in various locations where she was paid less than the males there. She worked in that job for three years, but never received any service benefits when she was finished. Faith then went to work at a shirt factory. She met her husband, Hans Mandler, who was a Jewish refugee from Vienna, an Australian Peace Council musical evening, and they got married in 1952. They had one daughter together, Lila and Gretel. During the 1950s and 60s, the indigenous peoples of Australia fought for their rights, and Faith was an important leader in that movement. Although she was not an indigenous Australian, she co-founded the Aboriginal Australian Fellowship with Pearl Gibbs in 1958. They were seeking, among other things, equal pay and citizenship for Aboriginal Australians, and it was meant to be a team effort between people who were Aboriginal Australians and then people who lived in Australia but weren't of that ancestry. Indigenous Australians had no rights at the time. They weren't even supposed to be counted in the national census. Faith's Aboriginal Australian Fellowship began a campaign to hold a referendum or vote to change the anti-indigenous parts of the Australian constitution. She traveled around the country convincing people to vote yes on that referendum. After about 10 years of campaigning, this referendum, called the Referendum of 1967, indicating the year it was brought up, passed with about 90% of the vote, winning every Australian state. Another important thing that you should know about Faith was that her father was brought to Australia as an indentured servant in 1883, which inspired a lot of Faith's activism for the rights of descendants of other South Sea Islanders who were brought to Australia as laborers, which I'm going to talk about right now. So most of these islanders were repatriated under the 1901 Commonwealth White Australia legislation, but there were a few thousand that remained in Australia. And Faith worked very hard to advocate for the rights of these people. She served as the General Secretary of the Federal Council for the Advancement of Aborigines and Torres Strait Islanders from 1970 to 73. This organization was founded in 1958 and was strongly against specific assimilation policies. They also joined the Aboriginal Australian Fellowships campaign to get the referendum of 1967 passed in 1962. So they weren't there for the beginning but they were there for a while. And in 1994, the Australian government announced grants, programs, and funding that they were giving to the descendants of the South Sea Islanders that Faith was campaigning for. Faith was also a founding member of the Australian Republican Movement, which still works to strengthen Australian democracy. She was also a founding member of the Women's Electoral Lobby in Australia, which was founded in 1972, to fight for the equality of Australian women. Faith was awarded the Medal of the Order of Australia in 1984 for her work to ensure the rights of Aboriginal Australians and was appointed a companion in the Order of Australia in 2009. She died February 13th, 2015 in Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for listening today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions for future videos, feel free to email me at abby at historyofus at gmail.com. You are also welcome to comment on this video or if you would like to suggest a topic, fill out the topic suggestions form that's linked in the description of this video. Thanks again for watching and if you are interested in the resources that I used for this video's research, they will be listed right after this. So check those out if you'd like and have a wonderful day.